The album is called Seven, first simply because it's my seventh album, uh, which is crazy when I think about it, because that's a lot of music. Seven is kind of a magic number, it's like a, a full cycle. At the beginning, as an artist, you go step by step, and it's, it's only positive energy. It's like passion, love, challenges. And then the second phase uh, of an artist, if you're successful, is like you are the top, and then what's, what's the energy when you're there? Energy is fear. Fear to go down. Because when you're at the top, you cannot go up. And now I think I'm at step three and I don't really care anymore. And I just want to put music out, a lot of music. And some of it is going to be successful and some of it is not going to be successful and it's fine. This is why this album is called Seven. This is a perfect name for me because I really feel like I'm going back to my original energy. Don't Leave Me Alone to me is absolutely magic. Also didn't want to take like a, an artist that would be too obvious. And I love Anne-Marie because she's, she's pop, but she's cool. There's a little bit of indie in her, even though she has some massive hits. She has her own stuff going on and, and I love this. Fauzia is a, a connection with someone I work with. Her voice is incredible and also very unique. Arabic background, a lot of vibrato and with her own style really. And I love working with big stars, but if someone has the talent of a big star, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to help show her talent to the world. I, I love this. Sia is my absolute favorite artist. Uh, she's incredible, like unique voice, incredible emotion. Some of the best writers in the world, if not the best. We made a record together that changed both our lives. Uh, Titanium. I'm very thankful that she's so loyal to me and she she's always here when I need her. And, and I'm very honored to have her, two records with her on the album. She's incredible. We did it again. I love the interpretation of uh, Let Me Down Love. It's gonna sound crazy, but it's very difficult when you create a song and then, you know, we make a demo. And usually I get used to it. And sometimes for me, it's hard to give it to a different artist because you fall in love with the demo and anything that is gonna be changed, you, you don't like it. But this time I was so impressed. I was like, wow. She really brought the record to the next level. As a producer, that's what you do. You're supposed to always look for the new talents, uh, new exciting vocals, artists, new musicians, new songwriters. This is my everyday life. In the case of J Balvin, it, it, it's funny because we were in the studio. One of the, those records, Para Que Te Quedes, we wrote it three years ago, before the entire Latin wave. I described how there was a moment where I was doubting myself and I was feeling scared of losing success and all of this. And this was also kind of a lesson because I was already doing those collabs with Latin artists before anyone was doing it. And I, was, I just got scared and I didn't put it out, which was so ridiculous. It's crazy, he's the most streamed artist in the world. And he sings in Spanish. Again, all the codes, they're always changing. So we should never believe that we need to respect the world the way it is, because the world is what we make it. Bibi Rexa, we worked together before on Hey Mama, and. She became a very big artist now. The combination be between BB uh, uh, and J Balvin, I think, is, is magic. I think Say My Name is, is a really big record. I've been friends with Jason for a, a, a long time. I had this record, it felt so big to me. They asked me if I would be cool with 
him using it as his first single and I was like, okay, of course, that's amazing. And then Nicki Minaj joined the record and I think this is massive. Like, I'm very curious. I think this is a, a huge global hit. So really what happened is she's not signed to Warner and I was in the studio and the guys from Warner, they just say, oh, do you mind if, I, if we come to say hi with a new artist that we have? And she came and I was like, Wow, that girl is dope. We were together with Stargate and uh, Glow in the Dark. It was like a combination of different visions of music. And at the end, we came with something that is very unique, I think. Like I Martin Garrix is uh, my little brother. I'm like always super proud of, of him, of his success, of his humility. It's crazy because we made this record, you think like, oh, this is just for the DJs and then it becomes like this big success that is, is even on the radio. Him and me got surprised like, wow, okay, it's doing that good. That's, that's incredible for a purely EDM record, really. I'm a big Jess Glynn fan for many years now and I love that she's soulful like this and not not many artists have that incredible vibe. Actually that record was met, we recorded it two years ago. I've used a Little Richard sample and Little Richard is the creator of rock and roll. He actually refused samples to, I can't say a name, but like the biggest, biggest, biggest artist on the planet. It was a, a really like a challenge to get him to accept it. At first he was a little bit like, this is strange, like the way you used my voice. And and then at the end, he got used to it, I guess. And after two years of negotiations, he, he accepted to clear the samples. I love mixing things that are not supposed to be mixed together. Yeah, 20K in an envelope. Yeah, mom jello with the strap. Yeah. Together with Steve Aoki, we, we made that, that record. I think it's crazy and, and like, okay, there are two amazing rappers. Uh, Uzi and g Easy, and it was amazing because when I was in I was in Vegas at the moment where I was working on the record and I kept playing the song and Trap is huge in the US and it was working so well like I would see people look at girls pretending like they know the words but they never heard it before so I'm like okay this is a good sign I play some Trap in, when I'm in Vegas and I love it too, so it was just cool to make a record in that style, but keep it still with a little bit of EDM-ish kind of sounds. The combination between Black Coffee and me is pretty shocking. I'm, I'm sure to people, it's like probably the coolest DJ on the planet. And the collaboration was very interesting because it's more into that deep house sound and I'm I'm more like over the top, massive uh, chorus. I think what makes the record so special is because we come from pretty different worlds, but we both want to give emotion to people and we both want to make the people dance. In my opinion, this is a record that every DJ could play. To me, it reminds me of like those magic records that are crossing over from the underground in every genre. When she leaves you in the rain, you need a heart to kill the pain, let it be me. Let it be me, that was a dope experience. Uh, I produced this record together with a circuit that is an incredible producer. At, you know, he's a guy that um, has produced some of the best records from The Weeknd, for example. Ava Max uh, is a new artist. She has a really great voice, lots of emotion in her voice also. That was just a lot of fun, to be honest. You know, sometimes records are complicated. This one was a very simple one using, you know, one of a sample of one of my favorite records, Susan Vega. Yeah, I like it. It's just simple, feel-good music. The reason why I'm calling the electronic album Jack Back and, and I also want sometimes to use this as an artist name and maybe as a label, it's just for people not to get confused. It's, for me, it doesn't really matter, it's still me. I understand that some people, when they go to a David Guetta show, of course they want to listen to Titanium and When Love Takes Over and I got a feeling if I'm going to play under the name Jack Back, they should know that 
there's not gonna be any of those hits. You know, it's gonna be more underground and I just don't want to deceive people. In the case of the electronic album, I wanted to go back to my roots when I was playing house music. It's more like a coming back to what I was doing when I started. Um, so I, I wouldn't say it's completely new for me, it's new for what people know of me. That was so much fun, so much fun. I've been in electronic since 88. I love learning and I love proving myself and doing surprising stuff and also challenging myself to do something new. So I've done this a lot on this album. I love the fact that it feels like me, but it's, it's, it's in so many different styles. Today, people have less boundaries and um, especially with with uh, streaming, people are listening to so many different, different types of music. So I don't want to be like, okay, I'm in this little box and I don't want to go out of this. You know, I, I just want to do what I want to do. And um, I think what matters is, if it, is it good or not? 